guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 15 of Star Twinkle Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I feel like I'm looking at like one of those really nice bright behind carnivals. Oh, like Las Vegas. <laughs> uh -uh. Mouth. And uh -uh. see, he, he got it. <laughs> he got it. He got it. <laughs> Why is that he got it? He got it. <laughs> I was like, no, oh my god. Let me stop. Yeah, I mean, you know, because she's from Earth, she doesn't know certain things. <laughs> oh, great. Baby, it's just like, who the F is that? Like, mm mm. But she's learning. She's learning. Like, this girl could possibly be the last one. I'm I'm really sure about it because like I said something last week in episode 14 towards I'm guessing the end of it because that was when the preview came up. Um, that one of my subs caught. I got a t a freaking DM of her talking to me about it, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, you're right about something, but I can't tell you what." And I'm like. What was I right about? Because I don't freaking remember. Like, when I film so many things, I'm not always going to remember everything, like, every single day. I may remember certain things, but not a lot. But I'm guessing that has to be her because um, I've seen a drawing, I think it was earlier today, of Mal. And it could maybe not be Mal. But the girl who just showed up with the glasses and the top hat and the really nice, cute... um magical no magician outfit that's like adorable suck yeah that, that's what i saw she's a singer so she's like Rise from persona 5 i mean persona 4 We don't have time to give her sardonas. Huh? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. You know, they do, you know, going once, going twice, sold to the highest bidder. Mm -hmm. Well, it is Monica. And she's smart as hell. It's cold as fuck in this house. Mm. Is that Mal? <laughs> and you are? Well, what if they went in as the pretty here? They, they'd be fine, right? Because, you know, pretty here, famous, little legends. Hello. Blue cat. <laughs> so they are doing this, like, saint tale. <laughs> I already love it. Oh, and there's Mel. <laughs> so, um, I just found my new best girl. Oh, 
I wouldn't be shocked if she's blue cap. Like, honestly. It, it's a little weird because, like, the way, I mean, like, okay, the girl who is blue cat in the opening, her hair is braided. Her hair is down. It's kind of the same style in a way. And I bet you if you unbraided her hair, it would look exactly like that. So I'm not sure. Do not tell me until it's time. I, I don't want to know because I don't like spoilers. We, we don't do this like how I did freaking get a get a pretty girl in mode. No. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then plus she's a cat and then we got blue cat. So come on. It, it, it's just, it, it's a little, it's there. I have my feelings. I'm not trying to call out this series like I'm doing with Attack on Titan currently. But it's just, you know that gut feeling you have? Oh. Like I'm in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, but the biggest question is, are we going to see Blue Cat in this episode as well? An access from Planet Rambo. Mm -hmm. Ah. And watch blue uh blue cat gonna come in and take that necklace. Five n Seriously? What the absolute hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you serious? Well, he's a celebrity. The pin's gonna come up. Mm -hmm. Well, it was kind of obvious in a way, guys. Oh, 
Of course you wouldn't be interested in the pig. Well, maybe you guys should steal it. I love how freaking Monica is dressed as the bunny on the moon. So cute! Yeah. Huh. Um. Something's gonna happen. What are you thinking, Madoka? Cody, baby, go lay down, please. Please. Well, damn, not a one bite woman. Do, do we have enough donuts? <laughs> Donut queen. <laughs> Just don't eat those donuts. <laughs> yeah, a little too right. Uh huh. Blue cat. So now here's the question Where's Mal during all this?
I fucking told you. Well, damn. There we go. Hello, my new best girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but what about the pen? She's got the pen. How the hell are y'all gonna get the pin? <laughs> How are you gonna get the pin? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> like, come on. She's not gonna give it up without a fight. I mean, Cody, go lay down, honey. I got one more show to do, and then I'm all yours for the rest of the night. I'm almost done. I got like freaking seven minutes, babe. But Cody just wants attention. Like every other video that I've recorded today, the first three that I've done, now this one, probably when I watch I Cut to Friends, he's going to be like, I want attention. <laughs> Come on. Just sit there. Okay, you gotta move. You gotta move a little bit. I don't need to hurt yourself. Mm, yeah, too easy. And look at her, making her escape. Well, not anymore. <laughs> there. Take it. You gotta kind of sit up for me, baby.
You know, I mean, friends, it's going to be worse if we find out that she is a pretty carrier. You're going to be freaking out, but it'll be okay. Oh, my God. She's so pretty. I mean, still, Libra is also pretty too, but they're all pretty. See, I feel like with them, they're giving like for the 12 freaking Zodiac, like possibly maybe legendary voice actors in the name of anime. Did he really need to have donuts to relieve stress because of Mal being blue cat? Now, see, this is what I kind of really wish that they did is not to make it like so obvious because it, it, in a way it was obvious, but not to also have it in the episode that she comes in. I would have waited like a couple of episodes, either like probably till episode 20 to say, oh, hey, yeah, Mal is blue cat. Like, still make it mysterious, and then any other event that Mal comes in, then have her be blue cat again. But I'm guessing, this ain't the last time we're going to see her. She's going to be coming back a little more constantly. Not, I don't think she'll be in 16, but maybe like 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, maybe even 23, or maybe really just 17 to 25. Until we find out if she is the last care, but she's in the opening, so come on, it's got to be really obvious that she is. But you guys, some of y'all know, I don't know, don't tell me, I don't want to know until it's time because I, I like I said, I don't want it to be like Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl All Mode, it was kind of like that with Hagato, and I don't want it to be like this. How, like. Before I did anime reactions, I got spoiled with um, Go Princess Pretty Care about who was going to be the final care, and I didn't really like it, but I, I still enjoyed the show. It's just the one thing that I always was on the back burner about Go Princess was the fact that by episode, like, 12 or 13, way before Twinkle came in, um, not Twinkle, uh, da, 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 da. Princess Twilight, I think that was her name. Like before we learned, uh, before Toa, her real name came in, um, people were on Tumblr and Twitter, like saying, "Oh, hey, this is the last cure who's coming in." Because I remember saying, um, towards the end of the series, going on to Maho, and then eventually could I get a pretty girl mode? And I don't think I said it in my could I get a pretty girl mode videos. We'll never know really now because they are gone. Um, that literally, I don't remember what the fuck I said. Um, mm, I can't even remember it myself. I think it was something about Toa. Like, I didn't want spoilers like it for um, certain series. But I'm just hoping, like, if I am right, don't immediately tell me. I, I really don't want to know because that was the same, like I said, with um, Alamode, I think by episode 9. Someone went and just dead ass spoiled it for me, and it kind of just ruined. It, it didn't. It ruined the experience for a couple of episodes until she finally came. But I just don't want people to be like, "Oh yeah, you're right about that." But no, let me not tell. Let me tell you now instead of waiting so many episodes later to be like, "Oh hey, yeah, you were right several episodes ago." I just think like kind of be a little respectful in that. Um, but yeah, episode was really good. Mao is a very interesting character. She is literally like Saint Tail in a way. Um, and she's interesting. She's already now my new best girl. I like her a lot. I like the fact that, you know, 
she she's a little bit of good and evil, but she's really she's like a phantom thief. I mean, seriously, I will continue saying Persona Five like until some of y'all play that game. Play Persona Five. But dead ass, she is. She is not good, she's not evil, she's on her own side, and she will always trust her own gut before it comes to other people. And until she is ready to quote unquote have friends, then that is when she's gonna go on like the good side. And I cannot wait to see how she looks. She's probably going to be maybe the most prettiest out of the group because Madoka is currently the prettiest one. And just, I'm just saying. And then how, what is she going to look like when she comes to Earth? Is she going to look like Mao? And so many unanswered questions. Like, we're never going to know until it's time for her to finally come and possibly be a cure, you know? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 15 a star twinkle pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out <clears throat> also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys all officially next time for episode 16 bye guys